What's up guys and girls? We're here for another game and with Doran against Sharoom. The Hegemon and it's probably not the greatest matchup for us. This hand could be extremely good or it could be extremely slow. I don't know. Sharoom can be a lot of things. And casting a Lotus Bloom is probably not that good for us. Okay, so we probably want to lead off with an elf. So we can try to cast turn to Doran. Um, hopefully that works. We want to just kill them as soon as possible. And hope they don't have counter spells or condemns. So with Doran, like I said in the last video, is it's very like you have to just try to kill your opponent. You can't wait for them to do all their broken things and then try to recover from them because you really can't. Um, for the most part. I mean there are situations where you do top deck sort of piece and famine. And do you think we have do we think he has a counter spell? It's quite possible he does, but so this is where I'm not experienced with the deck. I could just thought seize Inquisition here. Either one is probably a good idea. Do we want to do that? I'm thinking. See, so I'm not sure about what I should do. So we want a black land. We want a white land. I think black white land here. I mean, if he has Counterspell, he has it, so... Oh, I can't even cast Doran, I'm just dumb. Well... I'm just gonna Inquisition him here. <laughs> Inexperience of the deck is showing pretty, pretty good, pretty well right here. He's gonna counter it. Yeah, he gets a Counterspell. Muddle the mixture, alright bro. You got it. Well, I gotta, you know, that's the thing about Inquisition is it always gets a card, no matter what. And it did. So there you have it. But, not the greatest counter spell. I mean, maybe he's playing a combo version, and he wants to model the mixture. So you can, you know, transmute up cards. So next we can possibly cast Dorian. Or we can Thought Season first, then cause Dorian. Well, we'll see. I don't I don't really have a good feeling about this game. I'm gonna just die. This deck is very good against like mid rangey decks. I don't know like super hard control decks. I mean it's kinda good about against both and he's missing a land drop it seems. Maybe he's gonna do something crazy. He just tapped for white mana. Light blue. Lightning Reeves. Okay. It's not good for him. That's a good card. <laughs> this is a good card. Green. White. And we're going to have to exile land. Yeah. See, that's the thing about three color decks like this. Just Sometimes you just don't get the right land composition here. I should have just attacked with this and tapped the land. <laughs> Whatever. If I lose my one damage, I'm gonna be pretty sad. Is he gonna Lotus Petal us this turn? Oh boy. Lotus Bloom. Well, let's see what happens. Hopefully, we don't die. Hopefully, he doesn't draw land. <laughs> we just crush him. But Lotus Bloom could do something. He casts his General this turn and get back his Lotus Bloom. Wow, that's so unfair. <laughs> he draws a land, he can cast his General and get back Lotus Bloom. Sweet. Pretty good. It doesn't seem like he's drawing land. Oh, he drew a land, but not probably not the land he wanted. Alright, well, hopefully we draw land. Or something. Just floating mana. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna wrath me? Just own my hopes and dreams? That'd be sad. You just floated mana for no reason. Okay. <laughs> I don't get why you would float mana if you had no play. It just doesn't really do anything. Sigarda, okay. See, it sucks because like my I'm really constricted on my uh my black mana here. Right, we're gonna attack with this. One, two, three. So he does, maybe condemns me. Maybe I should have thought season first. No, he doesn't have condemn. 
All right. Well, we're just going to cast Softball. Really need to draw another white, black, or black land. So the thing, this, this this deck has a lot of decisions you have to make because all your spells are really cheap. So you have to really kind of think about what you want to play. Um, so you can play Shroom, attack us. I want to play my sword. Maximize my mana. Alright, I guess I should attack with this Deathrite Shaman. Yeah, I should have. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm a little worried about what's going to go on next turn. Now he's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana. We do a lot of broken things here, so. We have gotten in for 5 damage. It's not all that much. So this card is going to be super broken with a new legendary rule. You're going to only be able to wrath it. It's the only way to kill it. <laughs> it's going to be very hard to deal with. As a commander especially. Since you can't clone it anymore. I really don't like this legendary rule change. I feel like a lot of people are defending it now. I don't really understand why. Because, I mean, in other formats, it doesn't really matter as much. I mean, it does. But the commander, the de I mean, the whole format's based around legendary creatures. So it definitely affects it the most. And um, trying to deal with. I understand that blue should probably not have like vindicate for opponents' generals. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. Hopefully he bounces a chancellor. He doesn't realize what he's doing. Pretty kind of funny. Hopefully, you put, yeah, blink your, blink your thing, your chancellor. It'd be funny. So it's demonic tutoring. Uh, not sure for what. Maybe a slaughter pet. A land, maybe? I think you should probably do it for a land. Hmm. He's good in his deck. With his general, especially. So I draw strip mine. I'm just going to strip mine him. I hope I do. <laughs> the bounce lands, they're good because they like let you play. It lets you play two lands for the price of one card, basically, but if you get Acidic Slimed, or, and people do play Acidic Slimes, anything, it's just so sad. So I, don't, I really don't, I try not to play these outside of, I mean, I play one or two in my, uh, what you call it, deck, Maelstrom Wanderer, but my Maelstrom Wanderer deck mana base is kind of sketchy. He's playing very slow, he's like three minutes behind us, it's kind of annoying. Okie dokie. So what are we going to do next turn? Hopefully play better. Actually attack with Death Rite Shaman if we're not going to be able to use him. Maybe draw a land. Although we can't... Wait, can we exile artifacts? No. He just bounced his bounce land. Oh my god. <laughs> he totally just did that. <laughs> what did he just do? <laughs> oh my god. He just did that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, really, man? I think, did he read the card, or he just thought, like, yeah, I'm gonna have two mana on tap, I can mana leak something? Or did he just not, I mean, did he actually misclick? I don't think he actually misclicked. Oh, well, I don't know if it's gonna matter, maybe it will. Maybe it would've, I don't know what's in this hand. I guess I could check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does suck, I agree. Yeah, we're gonna start a piece of... Famine, one, two, one, two, yep, um, and we're gonna thought seize him, do we even care if we thought seize him, I guess we can just sort, um, I want these guys to attack Ben, sir, this guy doesn't do a whole lot, See what's in his hand. Cryptic, Metamorph. So he's Worm Coil, Swords, Crypt. He has a lot of good cards. Alright, we don't even need to type this down. Alright, so he has, he's had enough. I mean, I guess Swords are probably the thing to take. Uh, but yeah, that's 
You probably should just read the card before you bounce with Venser. This is not a good target for Venser. Uh, let's see what we're drawing. Nothing exciting. But, I hope you enjoyed that game. These literally the first two games I've recorded the deck. It does win a lot. Like It's a pretty brutal deck. Um, this is kind of a slow start, but... Like, you can see, you can cast Doran on your second turn, and then just start hitting him for 5. And then anything that boosts Doran's toughness is going to just crash them even harder. It does have a lot of, like, uh, ways to just stop your opponent from doing what they want to do. Like, you know, it has a lot of the discard, one mana discard spells. It has Strip Mine, Wasteland. So it's a pretty brutal deck. It's not a deck that's going to make you a lot of friends, I would think. But I don't, the thing, the downside of it is it's just not really playable outside of 1v1. But thanks, Scoot, for the deck. I've It's definitely a lot of fun, and it's a deck you guys want to consider if you want to play 1v1. Uh, most of the Dorian decks I've seen have been, like, um, they've been basically, like, either a green-white-black control deck, or they've been tree-folky folk, tree decks or defender-based decks, so, like, a lot of high-toughness creatures, and that's not what this deck is. It's way different. Which is kind of sweet. I kind of like it a lot. So thanks for watching. See you next time.